in the second question i have to find p of 0 p of 1 and p of 2 for each of these four given polynomials so let's first start with the first one p of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1 so let's find out for this uh, polynomial let's find out p of 0 p of 1 and p of 2 so p of 0 will be instead of y we substitute 0 so 0 square minus 0 plus 1 so p of 0 will be 1 then p of 1 will be 1 square minus 1 plus 1 so that's 1 minus 1 cancels so you only have 1 so p of 1 is also 1 and then p of 2 is 2 square that's 4 minus 2 so that's 2 plus 1 so p of 2 is equal to 3 now let's calculate the same uh, p0 p1 p2 for the second part pt so p of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2t square minus t cube so let's find out p0 p1 and p2 so p0 will be equal to 2 and then this t becomes 0 2t square becomes 0 and minus t cube becomes 0 so p of 0 will be equal to 2 and you know whenever you have a polynomial uh, where there are a number of terms involving the variable and if you substitute uh, 0 then you can quickly write all of the terms involving the variables as 0 so only the constant term remains so p of 0 is 2 then let's calculate p of 1 so p of 1 will be 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 t square so t square is 1 and 2 t square is 2 so 2 plus 1 uh, so actually just, let me just write this down so p of 1 will be 2 plus 1 plus 2 times 1 square so that's 2 minus t cube so that's 1 cube or uh, 1 so this is equal to 4 and then let's find out p of 2 so p of 2 will be equal to 2 plus t that's 2 plus 2 t square so 2 into 2 square so that's 8 minus t cube minus 2 cube so that's 8 again so p of 2 is also equal to 4 now let's go to the third part p of x equal to x cube so p of x is equal to x cube and let's find out p0 p1 and p2 so p0 will be equal to 0 cube or 0 p1 will be equal to 1 cube or 1 p2 will be equal to 2 cube or 8 and now finally let's go to the fourth part which is p of x is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1 and if you want you can also write this as by multiplying you can write this as x square minus 1 it doesn't really matter so now let's find out p0 p1 and p2 so p0 will be 0 square minus 1 that's minus 1 p1 will be 1 square minus 1 that's 0 and p2 will be 2 square minus 1 or 4 minus 1 or 3 so these are the answers to the four parts of this problem now let's go to the next question of the exercise to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers